Hi, John here again from the Spaniacs. And if Spain doesn't fine you for enough things, it's hard to think of something you can do in Spain that you wouldn't receive a fine for, really, isn't it? Or have I just been on the wrong end of too many of them? Possibly. But this one might actually be fair enough. Have a look at this headline with me and we'll, we'll chat about it as always, shall we? Supermarkets and restaurants in Spain could face fines of up to 60,000 euros for wasting food. Yeah, it is a big problem in the first world, isn't it? The amount of food wastage that goes on, supermarkets in particular, especially UK ones. I don't think Spain ones are as bad as the UK ones, because UK ones don't even have ugly vegetables, do they? Whereas in Spain, they don't really have a problem about vegetables, 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 isn't it? which is good, it's the way it should be. They all taste the same when they're cooked, don't they? But um, yeah, there is a big problem, food wastage, big problem. It looks like Spain really want to tackle it by using their default position of fining people who do it. Let's read on. All companies involved in the production and supply of food must plan to reduce waste or they could face fines of up to 60,000 euros and up to 500,000 euros for repeat offenders. The government is aiming to massively reduce the 1,300 tonnes of food wasted every year in Spain, which equates to 31 kilograms per person according to data from 2020. Yeah, I know food wastage is a bad thing, but 31 kilograms per person per year. I would have thought the number would be higher than that, wouldn't you? I mean, I don't waste probably two kilograms of food because I'm a good boy and I clean my plate most nights and we cook most of our meals and we use the leftovers or we freeze them or something like that. So we're quite good in this house, to be fair. We don't have a lot of food waste unless the missus lets something expire in the fridge, which does happen. I know you're watching this, Anna. I know you're watching this. So it is, it is a good thing. It's got to be cut down on, isn't it? And there's a few different ways they're doing it, so let's have a look. Spain's Agricultural, Fisheries and Food Minister says that the pioneering new bill will raise citizens' awareness of the economic, social, environmental and ethical consequences of food waste. In the catering sector, in bars and restaurants, all citizens should have the free right to take back any leftovers that have not been consumed and can therefore be consumed at a later date. This means free doggy bags that customers can take home with them if they don't manage to finish their meal, a practice that isn't currently common in Spain. Now, it's weird that that's not common in Spain. I mean, we do it. We'll go out for a, a curry or something or a big dinner. It's normally a curry when we get a takeaway because the missus can't go through a whole curry in one hit. And we'll take up back what's left of us. We always will. I don't know why it's not common practice in Spain. I think it's fair too. But the other thing is as well, I think the restaurants might just be giving you a doggy bag. If you leave food on your plate, they're going to put it in a doggy bag and you're going to have to take it away and put it on your 31 kilos of food waste a year so that the restaurant don't get fined. That could start happening, couldn't it? You leave any food on your plate, you're getting a doggy bag, whether you like it or not, because we can't be fined. That could happen, couldn't it? That could happen. I know it's a serious situation, but... That could happen, couldn't it? Also included in the bill are measures that will force supermarkets and restaurants to work with local organisations like food banks. Bigger businesses will also have to submit plans for donating food before it passes its best before date as a priority. Yeah, I know a lot of UK supermarkets do that, don't they? When things are past the sell-by, but still before their best-by date, they are donated to food banks. I think a lot of the UK supermarkets do a lot a lot of that, and that's that's a good thing. That should come out. That should come out more, doesn't it? But to be fair, stuff shouldn't be expiring in supermarkets anyway. Really, should it? They should only have the stuff in there they need to sell. But then, what do they know if they need to sell? And what the hell do I know about running a supermarket? I guess. But that would be one way to cut down on the wastage: is to not have too much excess stock in your shop anyway. When items are no longer safe for human consumption, the government has said they should first be used for animal feed and then for other industries such as the production of biofuels. Yeah, that's a good idea. I can see a lot more of that coming. I can see a lot more of that coming. Yeah, you have people come around and pick up, pick up the used oil, don't you? Maybe they'll get some pig farmers that will come around in little trucks to all the restaurants and start, start picking up all the food waste to, to give to the pigs and the chickens and that, I guess. So, Instead of fines, however, Spain is relying on educational campaigns to change domestic behaviour. I nearly fainted when I read that bit, instead of fines. That's very unlike Spain. And I'm only joking, I like this country, you know I do. But they do like a fine, don't they? But this is good news all round, really. It's a real first world problem, isn't it? And what a sad situation we live in when we're all wasting food every day. And I know that we have tried to cut down, not because I'm some crazy environmentalist and all of that, it's more because of the cost. If we're throwing food away, we're basically putting money in the bin, aren't we? 
what we do. Like if we have a steak or something out and one of us can't finish it, we'll always bring back the, the bits of the leftover steak for the dog. A little treat for her. And um, I think that's the way the world is moving a bit more now. Mm. I can't say it's a bad thing. Apart from the fines. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And if you want to contact me, in the description box down there, you'll find out how to contact me. If any questions you've got, or if you've got any ideas for stories, if you stumbled across something and you think I'd like to talk about it in a video, all down there in the description box, you can take a look. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And that way, hopefully, very hopefully, I'll get to see you in another video again soon, won't I? And if you want to watch another video now, there's a couple on the screen here for you. Enjoy. Ta-da.